I thought the easiest way to try to answer your question is just look at a little example. So I've created a, a term base called duplicates. And in this term base, you can see I've created triplicates, in fact, of, of each one. I'll, I'll try and answer your first question first because you, you're you wondering what's the purpose of this search for duplicate, duplicate terms is. Um, the reason for it is because normally when people manage a, a term base, duplicate sorting out is something that needs to be done carefully because you could have homonyms in there such as the bank for example. So a bank could be um, a bank where you put your money, it could be a bank on the side of a river, it could be um, a bench of some some sort that you actually sit in called a bank so there's different types of, of of bank and if you just remove all of these as being duplicates you potentially you're you're losing terms so they have to be done carefully and you can't just allow the software to run through and just automatically delete them in your case which is probably quite similar to this test file where you have a lot of them i can certainly see why going through it at one at a time one at a time is not yeah, really going to help you so what i'll do is i'll take you through the process of how you could do it by exporting the term base, creating a new one and importing the terms back in again. Because that's probably the easiest way to do a massive cleanup in one go as, as you're, you're doing it. So I'll do it on the basis of this particular term base. So the first thing you need to do is click over to the term base management. And the first thing we need to do is export the terms. So I'm going to go and click on the export button. Make sure you're clicking on the default export definition which is just going to export the entries to a multi-term XML format. So once you've selected the export and the default export definition you click on process. You need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it my I'll call it, call it my dupes dot XML and then next and that's created if I click over here now you'll see I've now got an XML file here. Oh, this has just got nothing in it. I don't know why that is. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Um, so I've got a, um, a dupes.xml file that contains all of the terms that were in my term base. What I'm going to do now is take the definition. So the definition, this explains the structure of the file so that um, it's based on, on this. So entry, entry level, index level, term level, two languages, one field, descriptive field, on the term level called description, because a term base can have any type of format altogether. This could be incredibly complicated, um, this structure. And the XTD file contains the information that allows you to create a new term base based on the same type of definition. And this is important for when you import your XML file back in again, because it needs to know where to put things. And that will be based on the definition. So I'm gonna click on definition and save. I'll put this in the same, the same folder, uh, definition for duplicates. I'll leave the name, um, the name that it's given it, and I'll click on save. So now I've got that saved. So now I'm going to close this term base, and what I'm going to do now is create a new term base. So I'll go to File, Create Term Base, and we'll call this the Deduped Term Base, for the want of a better word. The term base wizard comes up. We click on Next. I'm going to load an existing term base definition file. I didn't actually need to do that because I could have selected an existing term base as a template, but I just like to work with the XTD and, and XML because then I know what I'm doing all the time. So I click on Browse, pick the XTD, click on Next, give it a friendly name. This is the name that appears at the top up here in the term base, whatever you write here. And I say Next. It's English Greek, that comes from the definition file. The descriptive field is already there, come from the definition file. Click next and finish. So now I've got the basis of my term base. There's nothing in there, but I've got my term base set up the way it needs to be to import that XML. So now I'm going to click on import. And the important point here is when you do this the first time, probably the first one is selected, but you need to select synchronize on term. And this is going to add the entries as new entries. But if the same term exists already, then it'll merge them. So this is how we're going to get rid of all those duplicates without looking at, looking at them at all. So once I've selected Synchronize on Term, I click on Process. I browse and pick that XML file that I exported and click Open. I'll do a reorganization just to make sure everything is in place. You have to give it an exclusion file 
Um, this is basically going to contain a list of anything that it had a problem with, so you can go back and address it later. So I'm going to click Save As. I'll just call it Exclude in the same folder and save it. Click on Next, Next. It's run through, reorganized it. 21 entries have been processed. And hopefully I've only got seven left. And now when I go back to my terms, I've only got seven terms. So all the duplicates have been removed. So that's essentially how that process works. The one thing you could do that might help you improve it a little bit is that rather than export the um, the multi-term XML and also the definition, you can use the glossary converter for this. So if I just start this up quickly, oh, where is it? Down here. You can take this glossary converter Which is here and in the settings sorry it's all appearing on my other window go to the formats and if you add here to convert a multi-term term base to a multi-term XTD plus XML then when you drag and drop your term base into this interface you can you can export it directly to an XTD and XML without having to go through this process that I showed you here so it's a little bit quicker in that regard but the import process will be the same. You create a new term base with the XTD and X in multi-term and then import the XML. And that's essentially it. So not that complicated, quite quick. It might take a little while to do the reorganization on your term base because it's a bit bigger, but ultimately it should allow you to achieve what you want. I hope that helps.